Hi guys, Luke here and in this video we are going to continue where we left off the last time and we are going to apply a functionality for the producers to change the password after logging into the system. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this is where we finished off the last time and in this video, let's make this change password button do something. And in order to begin in Visual Studio Code, let's head over to the user's application and find the views py file. Over here, we will begin from some imports. So let's go to from Django, contrib, auth, and then views. We want to import two views. The first one is the password change view, which will allow us to change the password and the password uh, done view, which will be some kind of a confirmation that the password has been resetted. So let's define the first class and I'm going to call it my password change view which will inherit from password change view and over here what we need to specify is basically the template name and we will do it in a second as well as the success url and for the success url we will need to reverse lazy so uh, from django urls import reverse lazy okay so let's put the reverse lazy and let's leave it empty because we will need to um, create this password reset done view or in this case it will be actually called my password reset done view which will inherit from password reset done view and here we need to specify only the template name and uh, once we fill the template names, we will have to register those views in the URLs py file, which we don't have. And then we need to come back and uh, fill out the reverse lazy. So on success, we want to be taken to this particular view. Okay, so over here, I'm going to put in a template name so we will go to the users and in the users we will have password change html so this is that this template we will create in just a second and then we will have users and password reset done html and this template we will create in a second as well so now we can go ahead and save our views and create a URLs py file inside the user's application. And here we need to import path. So from Django URLs import path. Next thing is to bring in our views that we created. My password change view and my password reset done view. Let's provide the app name to be equal users and let's open up the URL patterns and begin with this uh, my password change view. So let's call it change password and put in this my password change view as view and the name will be password change view. Okay. And let's do the next one. So in this case, we will put in change password and maybe slash done or, or changed. I will keep it done. And now we can put in this my password reset done view as view. And the name is going to be password change done view. So I'm just going to copy this and over here I'm going to add done view. All right, so before we create the templates, let's include the URL patterns over here in the main 
project URLs. So let's go to the movie proj, let's access the main URLs py file and below the movies let's create a new path for the users and let's include the URLs from the users. So users URLs and the namespace should match the app name so let's put in users. All right so now we can go ahead and save it and go back to the users and over here let's create templates and inside the templates we will create another folder called users and in the users we need to create those templates over here so the first one is password change and then password reset done so uh, password change html password okay so this is the pass uh, i made the typo sorry about that password change html and then password reset done html okay so uh, let me check if uh, the second one password reset done okay so this is all right and now we can begin working on the password change html so first of all it will inherit from base html let's set the title as block title change password and the block content will consist of a form let's put in form action blank method is equal to post and let's add a class of UI form so again we are adding the semantic UI styling with this class and let's close off the form we are dealing with a post request so let's put in a CSRF token and the form itself form SP and we need also a button type equals to submit let's make it a green button by adding a class of ui button positive and let's write down change okay so uh, this is basically it for the password change html and now once we submit this form and we succeed we should be taken to the password reset done html and over here of course we need to inherit from base html let's uh, put in the block title i'm just going to write down it's done and the block content will be um, maybe let's put in h1 password has been changed or maybe your password has been changed and let's add a break line and then we need to have a button that will uh, take us to for example the home page so i'm going to write a href and over here we need to provide the url and we want to go to the home view i think this was the name of the path for the home view and let's create a button over here with a class maybe let's make this button a little bit bigger so we can write down UI massive primary so it will be a blue button and let's put in home or home page let's close the button the A and yeah I'm going to indent this and the final thing is to go to the home because 
over here once we click the change password we want to be taken to the my password change view so let's just go to the URLs here is my password change view as view and the name of the path is password change view so I'm going to copy this and head over to the home HTML and over here I'm going to add a href with the URL and I'm going to write down the app name and the name of the path and then I'm going to close it off and save this so this should be working let me refresh the page change password here is our form we need to put in the old password first and now we can put in the new password okay so over here we have some kind of an error and this is because um, we need to go to the views and we forgot about the success URL okay so this is why we get that error and we want this to be set to the users and we need to bring in the path name of this uh, view over here so in the URLs py we have it registered and it's called password change done view and let's bring it into our reverse lazy now let's save it refresh I need to log in so I'll try the new password first and I think it worked so now we are taken to the change password so I will uh, change the password again okay and we are taken to the home page so uh, let me do the change password one more time and it's working so now if I log out and use the new password to log in again everything is the way it should be all right guys so I think this is it for this tutorial I hope my explanations were good enough this is very easy to implement and yeah we will see each other next week with the 10th part of the social network project and I also will prepare a special video on the integration of Django with something that I won't tell you right now let it be a surprise so yeah see you next week Take care and yeah, have a great day. Bye-bye.